a disappointing start to league campaign. How did you view it, Kevin? Um, nothing game. Nothing in it. Um, and then a poor decision and a bit of quality decided the game. Um, no, no refereeing decision, poor decision on the ball. Um, and that's, that's ultimate skill is. And neither team's made the keep up working on. Blair had one save to make. Cammy's unlucky with a wee shot, is deflected. A couple of wee bits, we've got ourselves into some great positions with cross balls, maybe a wee bit. Should do a wee bit better. Divs had a shot in the first half. But I mean, for both sides, you're clutching at straws a wee bit to get any sort of clear cut chances. Um, but, you know, the, David Gold's came up with a really good goal. You know, he's picked the ball up and then travelled a long, long way. And then obviously, you know, after that, we get out to 10 men, which kills any sort of. Well, it doesn't kill because I actually thought the boys dug in and, and went and had a go, but it, it sort of hinders what we could do for the rest of the game, sort of in terms of chasing it a wee bit. Given that Kevin Nicholl was in a booking and, and, and couldn't really make a tackle on David Gold, were you expected some of the back four to step out and deal with that? Somebody's got to at some point go to the ball. You know, it's that's. That's how it is, but you know, he's travelled I think for the halfway line, maybe just shot to that right into the area, you know, so certainly something we'll need to look at. Um, but overall just disappointed to lose the game in that manner, you know. Penalty claim doesn't really matter, you know. What was your view of Cammy Thompson? I thought, I thought it was a penalty when I first seen it. Um, I've had mixed reports since, you know, some saying it's a keeper, I think some saying their keeper said it was a penalty, but that's not really any consolation. Uh, but you know, We've just got to take it to the chin, work harder and go again. Um, and it's important that, that we just stay together. You know, it's a disappointing day, but by no means were we out that game. By no means were we not competitive. And by no means did we not give everything we had. You know, it's it was a really tough, tough fixture. Uh, with both teams, you know, covering a lot of ground, committed in the tackle. But in terms of passing and quality, I wouldn't say there was an awful lot of that. So. Um, aye, we just need to regroup and refocus on Cowdenbeath. What was your view of the Ross McGeeky red card towards the end? I think given the way the game had went, circumstances, you know, emotions were quite high at that point due to some refereeing dis decisions before and lack of handling. Um, and that made that decision, I think, the red. I, personally, I don't have a problem with it because the referees judged that he's out of control and he's high and, I, and it did look out of control to me. Um, it was a lunge, it was a lunging sort of feel about that tackle. Uh, so, you know, I've, I've told Ross I'm disappointed with that. And the referee for me has probably made the right call, but how we arrive at that call would be, would be my concern. You know, how we arrive in that situation where Ross has been frustrated to the point. You know, Kyle Banner wins the ball with 20 seconds beforehand in the middle of the park, kicks the ball to the other side, and there's contact, and he gives a free kick. It's, these were wee things, but listen, it didn't affect the result and credit to Queen's Park for coming up with the goods. And obviously no Ross next week. No. Now, Jordan McGregor, is he going to be out for a while? Um, no idea. Jordan won't be out for any sort of long term. He'll be back in the short term, but we're certainly going to just throw him in. You know, it's no panic stations. We're one game into the season. Um, so, you know, as I say, we need to, to make sure that um, we don't panic. You know, that we do stick together and we just focus on the job coming up. Um, and that's, you know, that will be a tough one away from home at Cowden, so that's entirely what I'm focused on right now. Yeah, and you would expect to create more, I guess, next week, or hope to create more next Aye, week. I would hope to create more, you know, and hope to get higher in the park. Um, but you know, you've got you've got to do the basics well. You've got to show that you can make the correct decisions in areas at the park that can hurt you if you lose the ball. So until we learn that, we will be stiffer. So it's a fact of matter, you know, we've we've conceded a poor goal for today from being in possession of the ball. There's no getting away from that and safe possession of the ball. So, but as I say, we'll need to, you know, we'll, we'll watch it, we'll regroup, and we'll, we'll jiggle it about, and, and we'll try and get that right formula, you know. But still, very early days. And in terms of, of transfer business, are you still you've obviously brought in a lot of players. I'll still be looking. You know, if there's a player out there that can prove his team, I'll be looking. I'll ask the question, and, and hopefully, you know, we can we can get you know that one in or whatever it may be. But. Right now, you know, this is a young squad that's coming together, and young in terms of age, it must stress, you know, in terms of not age, sorry, in terms of being together. It's our ninth game as a group, you know, so we just we just need to get, you know, iron out the new problems, and, and I'm sure, you know, we've, we've, at times today, I mean, they actually scored in our best period, you know, at a period when we were looking as if we were just about to, you know, really start knocking on that door, you know, Cammy Thompson was getting good, Joy Dillon was getting Danny, and, and Div Wilson involved with his layoffs, you know, and we were beginning to get a wee bit of momentum. And, and obviously, 
with that, you know, becomes a confidence maybe a wee bit falsely. But to play in areas, but as I say, we'll, we'll regroup and refocus, and that's that's the main thing, you know. I'm guessing that team today, a lot of fans would have picked if they were picking their living before the game. But would you be tempted to start with Lewis and Dylan both up front? I said aye. It's no, there's no player or system that, that, that's you know been pre-picked two months ago. I'm going to pick players in forum. Um, the players I picked today showed up well against Hibs, against Aloha. Um They've went showed up again today pretty well in terms of being competitive, the desire, you know, commitment to, to do um, what they'd been asked, but obviously we were lacking, you know, we get wide, as I say, the number of times and the crosses were deep or they weren't, they, you know, flashed in with any pace or, so we, we things, but, you know, in any given day, you know, you're maybe talking about another abroad where we had four or five really get edge chances, you know, so, as I say, we'll just, we'll, we'll regroup for Tuesday and it's in and it's work as usual. Good All right. Thank you. Thank you.